right, this video is going to be on some hip gait deviations. Pretty much it's the Trendelenburg um, and compensated and uncompensated Trendelenburg. In another video, we talked about circumduction. That's a big one for the hip. If you can't flex the hip, you're going to circumduct out. Check that video out to review that gait deviation. But we have the Trendelenburg. So the Trendelenburg, a positive Trendelenburg sign. If you stand on one leg, you should be like this. A positive Trendelenburg sign is this. The contralateral side is going to drop because of hip abductor weakness. So the glute meat is weak. What osteokinematic position is my right leg in? It's adducted. How do I get out of adduction? I use my glute med to abduct my hip so that I'm neutral. So weakness to the glute med is going to cause this hip to fall out to the side, giving you the uncompensated Trendelenburg gait pattern. So I'm going to walk away. Take a look at my left side here. This is a weak glute med on this side. When I step on this leg and it's my stance leg, my hip falls out. So literally, this is the uncompensated Trendelenburg gait pattern. Weak glute med on the left. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but you're not gonna see that hip go out because I'm going to now compensate by leaning to the weak side so that my hip abductor doesn't have to work. I just lean to it. So I'm gonna step down and lean that way. That is a compensated Trendelenburg because you don't see the sign, you don't see the hip drop because I'm leaning to the weak side so that muscle doesn't have to work. And you'll notice a common theme with all the weaknesses, the body leans that way so the muscle doesn't have to pull it back. So let's quick review. We have positive Trendelenburg sign when that hip contralateral side falls down or this side goes out but technically it's defined by the pelvis dropping on the contralateral side. The uncompensated Trendelenburg gait now the compensated Trendelenburg gait on the left. And that is your video on hip gait deviations for the Trendelenburg gait.